guys can see these clouds but I mean these clouds are heavy and they're thick and they look like mountains almost I mean it's so beautiful but for some reason as I sit here it feels like they're getting closer and closer and I'm just thinking to myself like hmm should I be going in the house because it almost looks like a wave and really and truly they're moving pretty quickly I wish I could get a better shot of them but my camera won't zoom in, so, yeah, but look at the birds, I love sitting here, just looking at the water, looking at the birds, I love it. I wanted to get up here and right away say, oh my God, I look terrible. But actually, I don't look terrible. But I have been feeling pretty terrible, to be honest. But I have my menstrual right now, so. <sighs> I thought it was over. I thought the menstrual was done. I didn't have my menstrual for two whole months. And I was thinking to myself, like, oh my God, I am finally going to get a little boy, no more menstruals. I mean, I was just so freaking excited. And I know that my OB, she said to me, she said, listen, if you go 11 months without your menstrual and you get on that 12th month, then that means you have to start the year all over again. And I thank gosh that I did not, of course, go longer than two months because that would have been even more devastating. And so, yeah, but I've just been feeling like a complete mess, especially since I've come back from Africa. I just, I don't know. It's been a very weird, strange feeling of I don't know just mm, I don't know I don't know um, I don't know it's just weird but today I was inside the store inside Home Depot and I remember last time I was at Home Depot I don't know what was happening in Home Depot, but it was like every freaking guy on the planet was trying to talk to me when I was in the Home Depot. So I went in there today and I was just thinking like, oh, you know, no one's gonna talk to you. Like, you're looking horrible. You're feeling horrible, you know. And this absolutely wonderful, nice looking gentleman tried to talk to me. And of course, you know, kind of being who I am, I just was like, listen, nope, shut it down. And probably another reason I shut it down was because um, there was this guy that was in another supermarket. And um, every time I would go to the supermarket, he would be at the supermarket. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, this guy must work at this supermarket. Um, nice, you know, nice looking guy. And so I was like, he said something to me that was really strange. Cause he said, um, a few months ago, he was like, I hope I'm going to pray that in two months, your relationship ends. And almost to the date, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. And so I was like, Oh my God, like that is just so strange. Like, you know, maybe this means something, maybe, you know. So I was like, well, if I go to the supermarket, then if I run into him, and this is after I got back from Africa, I said, if I run into him, then for sure, like, 
it's divine like definitely you know because I don't believe in coincidence um, but it, okay so he was at the store basically he was at the store when I went to the store he was there and so I was really like oh my goodness like yeah this this you know it's divine um so I gave no 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 he gave me his number and I text him I think it was the same night because I was very curious about our first meeting because it was something that he did that really didn't make any sense to me and I really wanted to know and it was really bugging me but after we had that conversation through text he never texts me back like he never texts anymore like we had a you know because I had said something pertaining to like him being a distraction and he kind of I don't know got weirded out about me saying that like oh I would never be nobody's distraction but I think what he was thinking I was saying is that basically I'm gonna use him in order to get over my previous relationship and that's that's not what it, not what I was talking about as far as a distraction but anyway I felt that was kind of childish um, that he took that stance um, so when I went back to the store like a week later you know neither one of us um, communicated with each other but when I went to the store I'm hearing this noise and but I'm not focusing on it um, it was a guy that was in the freezer I guess he worked there and he started laughing and I'm like <coughs> excuse me I'm like why is this guy laughing like what the hell is he laughing for now hear the noise but I'm not knowing where the noise is coming from I'm not understanding why this guy is laughing um so I end up turning in the direction where he was looking and why and to see what he was laughing about and the guy is taking his sneakers and he's rubbing them against the floor making this noise and so I just look and I turned away and I was like that is so freaking annoying and that was it I didn't say anything else because like I don't know I just I was kind of like annoyed and a little upset first of all because I had him on my mind like constantly because I'm just upon me getting his number I said to him I said hey listen I really don't have time for any bullshit I don't have time for the games I don't have time for any of this like oh no I'm different and blah 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 you gotta blah, 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 whatever and then you know guys they end up being the same goddamn people the same people is so absolutely annoying and so I just was upset with myself I think because I looked into the situation way more than I should have but I don't know I don't know I just him saying you I pray for your relationship to be over in two months I think that's what did it for me like I think that's what made me believe like oh wow like you know this yeah and um but no and so <sighs> I don't know I don't know I think I'm at a really weird place um, right now and um, I don't know I think I'm just I know there's a few things that I really need to do and I think that will help me to like perk up um, far as you know how I feel um, you know how I'm thinking about myself how I think about others um, and you know and I think as well because you know I was building in Africa and now it's a lot of stuff happening with that and then you know everything that happened between you know my friend and my other friend and the relationship dissolving because of it um, I don't know it's just it's a lot like taking place 
um, all at once and I'm I've been already going through stuff which you know a lot of people already know and so it's almost like People just don't, I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. Uh, I was just sitting here thinking like, you know, people, they want to be in love so bad. But really and truly, a lot of people don't even, you know, respect the people that they're with. They don't respect themselves, you know, and they don't cherish relationships you know everyone just want a title because somebody else has a title or whatever the situation might be and that's just not it you know and so when you don't have um, genuine respect you don't genuinely cherish someone then you can easily you know want to hurt them you can easily want to dismiss them for the, from your life you know everybody is so love 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 I don't know um, I don't know. I I I, I just the genu the genuineness of relationships is just not there, you know. And none of us are perfect, you know. I've for sure cheated in my relationship. I have. Um, but the one thing I can say, and I'm not making no excuses, I'm just going to say this, is that I only stepped out when I wasn't respecting my relationship, when, when I was having problems in my relationship, you know, but once I respected, you know, where we were, I couldn't any longer, um... I couldn't, I couldn't do that any longer. I couldn't even think about that, you know? And it's not that the love grew or changed or anything like that. It's just, I respected the union that I had with the person that I was with. And so, yeah, that's, that's my ultimate goal. It's just someone who, you know, genuine, have a genuine connection when you can see people and you can appreciate them and you can still see your me as, you know, like there's no, there's no replacement, you know? And that to me is a genuine connection. It has nothing to do with external anything, you know? Everything is internal and I know you know, I can be very distant. I can be very, like, cold in a way. But I'm consistent. How you meet me is how I am while we are together and how we'll be in the end. So I respect that guy. If he felt like there was something I said that he didn't like, then I respect that before you waste my time seriously and that's it you know I'm just sitting here in my car and I'm just felt like having this little powwow with myself um I don't even know where I would put this but you know if I find that someone can use little bits and pieces of this then you know for sure I will go ahead and share it and things like that so for yeah, I gotta get myself back together. That's all I can say, you know, and really not even back together. I just gotta get myself together because really and truly and honestly, I have never had myself together. I have, I am an empath and so it, living in this world is, is, oh my goodness, it's, ugh, oh man. Only a really true empath could really truly understand that it's like abuse every day. It's abuse. Seriously, that's just what it is. And I think that I have to start really 
um, focusing in on myself, focusing in on my gifts and stop running from them. And I think once I stop doing that, that I will be able to handle and deal with um, the things that um, is external and is not internal. And I'll be able to recognize those better and be able to remove myself um, if po at all possible and be able to strengthen what I have within myself that belongs to me internally, I will be able to strengthen that so that way I can use it for the external world. And so that is my goal for myself. And I know I'm 48 years old and um, I don't know. I, I, I just, you know, I did. I ran from a lot of things that I knew that I needed to face, but I would run from them. And so this is really typical of me that I would be at this age, you know, trying to figure out um, these things that I've known for years now. But um, listen, it's always a good, it's always good to start somewhere. That's the thing about it. And if you see that you're struggling and that you really need to start, start because you know what what just continue to to be on the path that you want no just start and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start and I think that this new chapter in my life um, once I um, leave um, the place where I am um, I will be buying a van and I will be fixing up a van and I will be living in a van so um am I afraid am I this am I that I'm all everything everything there is to be I am but I know that I'll be okay that's what I do know because I know who I am and so I know I will be okay so yeah so I'm trying to get excited about that I just bought this little um piece of wood um and it looks like it's something that can go inside the van so once i get the van i will go ahead and try that out and i bought some some barrels so that i can go ahead and put a lot of my other stuff in and so yeah so that's it so yeah i'm just gonna sit here and continue to enjoy this little time outside the clouds have really moved now and but it's the rain has stopped so that's a good thing but so you guys um i don't know i this probably should be a, a youtube video i don't know i'm telling myself i was gonna open up tiktok maybe i'll open up a tiktok and put some of this on tiktok we'll see yeah we'll see but you guys have a wonderful rest of this saturday you guys take care and keep safe